All right, what's going on, guys? Team Brock back at it again. We got uh, the kid here with an Altergeist profile. Let's get into it. Welcome back, Brock Nation. We got an Altergeist profile. I've never actually made a profile on this deck, but I've been playing it for quite some time. It's actually like one of my favorite decks. So. Have we really not? No, we really never have. We definitely have. Uh, I, don't, I don't think we have. Maybe not you, but someone. I'm, I'm I think not, Chen's might have. I'm not subscribed what? to the channel, so what? I don't know. Have we ever had an Altergeist profile? Yeah. Yeah, for not, sure. Not for yeah. me, though. Yeah. yeah, but I never made one. Wait, you don't Yeah, let's, let's get into it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you see, doesn't even know what we're doing. Yeah, so one lesson, everyone. Always bring to the table what no one's expecting. <laughs> so, so we play... Three of the best card, and if this card's at three, we're playing it. Well, just, I expected that. Yeah, if you have, yeah, I play a really standard uh, Alter Geist engine. I don't mess with it at all. You could play two of this, but I, I'd rather just play the third. You want to draw a monster, kid? Yeah. So I play three of this. This one's my favorite one. That's the broken one. Just so good in like everything it does. Uh, obviously, play three of all these. Two of this, so good. It's not like good on its own, but it's ultra, it's a uh, multi figure's best friend. True. So, and then one of this. This card's just insane. That card is really broken. Just, just you can just, and it's not once per turn, so you can just like keep bouncing it back with either this or spoofing. So I just play the standard engine. I feel like that's what you should play. Um, and then hand traps. I played two, a three Ash and two Valor. I cut it down from three just because we're not in more, we're, we're in less of a combo heavy format now. and. I just was like having trouble with finding room. So you're telling me the lightning bolts on this mat aren't moving? Yeah, so. <laughs> and for the draw power cards, uh, three of the best cards. Is that, is this, is this still expensive? I don't know. I got it when it was expensive. <laughs> stop, stop. <laughs> yeah, just, um, just really great in any control deck. Um, Stimulus money came in, came in handy. Is that still, is that still expensive? We'll, we'll look it up. And then I play two, one gorgeous super and one hideous gold. Um, this card's really good. I was consider I was considering bumping it up because it was because it was just doing so well. I was playing one. Um, I would never play three though. I'd play one before I play three, just because you. It's not always good. It can break, but I feel like this is a good ratio. Just so like this is a great going first. I was gonna say turn one seems good. Turn yeah. one, this and a marionette is just like what you want. So I, I play two because I want to see it more frequently, but. So uh, I bumped up. This is actually the most controversial part of this deck, I think. Oh boy! Like, the three bring on, bring on the spice. The three card. Well, it's not that spicy, but usually you play a three card trap ratio for Alter Guys. But I couldn't decide which one I want to play two of, so I just decided to play two of uh, each of them. Um, oh. Because I. Oh, this kind of. I'd spice. probably play one of this, but. Because, I thought that was the broken one. Because it is, but because every, which, but it's like you can just keep recycling with this. But because everyone just plays Cosmic Cyclone, I just want this at all times. Yeah, they're gonna banish it. Protects yeah. you from hand traps. Like you can just and uh, one other thing I like is you can like you they you can have this face up and then activate one of these and actually tribute this to do it, which they usually don't see coming. So it, it's, just not, it's just better than getting rid of one of your monsters typically. So I bump that up. It just keeps my spoofings more alive, which I do play three of that. You have to. I've seen people play two, and it makes me cringe. It's still not foil. Uh, I was thinking. I was gonna. Is there a foil? Yeah, I mean, there is. I, yeah. I didn't buy any when I first started playing, but I was. I was gonna. I'm probably gonna look up how much it is and buy it if it's not ridiculous. Um, then three of the best hand trap in the yeah. stack. Just it's this. This card isn't as good as it was, but it's just really good on a normal summon, and it's it's too good to not play in this deck. Did you guys ever notice that this is like an infinity? His tail's like making an infinity. Oh yeah. No, I never made. I never. That's crazy, that. bro. Look at that. <laughs> look. Well, I feel kind of That's scrubby. Cool. But, it, kind, um, it kind of looks like the Leviathan cross, Bri. Look at this card. The Dave Navarro. It looks like it, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, that's pretty cool. Anyway. The dragon. Yeah. Anyway. I was thinking that's a dragon. Sorry to uh, interrupt you there. But anyways, yeah. So, so the, it's you have to play three because this t opening with this card and using it on your on your turn zero and then resolving a, a multi faker is like too good and yeah, like, you, getting a bounce. Like you, you just like yeah. it's broken. So you just have to. So play you can that. negate them and like play your whole turn on their turn. Negate them and bounce a card and then and then have a a free multi-faker in hand. Uh, and then I play three blowout card because this card's insane if you resolve it and take out like three or four things and then multi follow up with a multi-faker play. I think it's, I think it's better in BA, but... Yeah, maybe. But I'm not playing BA and I probably never will. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're fighting words, no, no, Nothing personal, kid. <laughs> this is more my play style. Then uh, I play, oh, I play yeah. three strike because... It's really good going first and second. I was playing Judgment when I initially started playing this, but I just, I, I really, I'm a huge opponent of citing it. So blah, blah, blah. And then lastly, I played two of this because we're more of a control format now. So I thought like, it was just good to have outs that I'm not expecting. So 
We'll, pro we'll, we'll test it, and if it's not good, I'll make another profile. Yeah, and Enfei's duster is pretty cheeky. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, on to the extra. You play duster too? Two. I, I side it, uh, I don't well, mean it. So the thought behind that was I kind of just like wanted more traps. Yeah, they're normal traps to trigger the faker. Yeah, yeah, I wanted more traps for faker, and I also just wanted something for back row. So I just decided to go with that. I don't know how good it will be, but I'm confident with it. Anyways, so, so three of the best card. I feel like a 90% conversion. Um, yeah, you just want this card, especially with the extravagance, you probably want to play Look three. Um, I even played one of this, I don't ever make it, but it's just, the if I accidentally do banish these, I, I can go into it. But if, you got, if you guys don't like football, I'm sorry. I don't, but so I'm, I'm pretty sorry. I don't know if Yu-Gi-Oh um, players like football, but... So the next, so the next best card in this deck, in the, in the extra... So bad. This is, so bad. This card is incredible. Um, I also played these two because... Just have, having some other good options is good. You can make this with, um, like, a Socrates. So it's just, they're really good. This is underrated. You can really sack people when they have a card that points to one of your spaces and just make it right there. But, yeah. I, I'd probably play, I don't know. I was thinking of playing three of this, but... I think it's, it's, it's pretty cute. I think this is fine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, anyway, so then just another nice toolbox nightmare package. Just putting them all at the, once. The rest, yeah. The rest of this, the rest of the extra deck that you don't really care about, it's all just extravagance fodder, but you just, you just play like a toolboxy thing. Fodder? That, do, you yeah. play, do you play any like Brock cards? No, no I don't. And then I just play four big guys. Um, <laughs> the, be the best card in the deck. Wait, is that, whose is that? That's mine. I've had that for a while. I, I, I don't know where mine went. I've only made it against Maynard. I think I Maynard has mine. Oh, well that's unfortunate. It's like the one card that I like, that can't be accounted for. That's like the most expensive card I own. Yeah, this card's incredible. <laughs> like, do those things go hand in hand in it, this team? It, if you make this, you're, you're probably going to win. Like misplacing a card and it happens um, to be your most expensive? Yes, having a Brian. It was, then it was under his pillow. <laughs> uh, <what? laughs> That's just stupid. What <laughs> Avermax, because this is really good. Uh, and Boral Sword, just really good. Um, what is he? Is he a guy? I, he's a robot dragon, bro. Yeah. Um, and then lastly, one being Gusu. Just, I, th I just feel like these are like really just all the outs you need to most cards. If you don't banish them. Yeah. Yeah. So I just play that because I feel like the whole toolbox aspect, I'll repeat that again. Yeah. Oh, Zach! What's kicker's name? Oh, I just missed it. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Went to school with a kid named Andrew Gay. Name drop. <laughs> Shout out, Andrew Gay. All right, Gay. so I'm gonna, we're going to do the side really quick. I don't know who you are, but I hope you're doing well, man. So, this <laughs> <laughs> so, so this, this deck kind of struggles going second sometimes, so. Yeah, let's let's see some side spice. So I play the one Pancratops and uh, two Alpha. They're just really good going second cards. This great blowout. I thought, dude, I, I thought this art was something completely different. Like, I thought it was him, like, with, like, a yeah, giant... Yeah, what like, is he? He's, like, a lion with wings no, with, I like, thought the, antlers. I thought that orange was, like, a giant, like, ball in his mouth. I thought it was, like, a monster with, like, his mouth open. Like, Those are his teeth? Yeah. No, I don't... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's pretty sick looking, actually. Yeah, he, he has, like, a mane, antlers, wings. He's like pretty cool. Except, anyways, except cool. Uh, then I play three this, because it's great to just, like... Get rid of like interrupt them or get rid of like what is, what, um, Yeah, I just don't understand how this card works with like negating stuff. Does it negate anything? What? Dini Crow? It doesn't negate, but you can really interrupt things. Like I don't know, it's good against Zodiac. Uh, uh, like, do certain things have to stay engraved to resolve? You can like get around that. Like, it, like it, it can it can stop uh, Avarice. No, right? Oh yeah. Because you have to target the five cards you can return yeah, on. and if you banish one, he doesn't get anything. So I, I play three of that because um, uh, it's, it's a good deck you got to watch out for these days. But, um, this card's really good on the side. Uh, I was thinking of maining it, but it's just not good enough to yeah. main. Yeah, if Team Apex didn't hate me, I'd have my own copies, but that's another story. Well, let me know if you get them. Um, and then three of this card because it's just so good going first. Like, you know you're going first, just, just put it in every time. Is, is that a foreign? Yeah, it's like friends. Nice. <laughs> Commons, everyone. And then I play two anti-spell fragrance and, Commons, and everyone. one IO. Um, this is just great to side out all your spells and play this going Commons first. Always good, bro. It's not, it's not like a I, don't, I don't like commons. I don't, I don't like commons. Those are hideous, bro. The solemns commons. Yeah, the solemns are kind of ugly. Those are hideous. Now, I wouldn't say they're hideous. You know what's hideous? Uh, what is it? D-barrier? Oh, I thought you were about to say something like really the mean. common D-barriers are really hideous, but... Mean. 
I don't, I don't know. You no, could, no. You, you guys said a plethora of things. I was not there. saying a joke there, everyone. All right, so All right. That's, the, that's, that's the deck, everyone. Please let me know what you think in the comments. I try to keep everything standard and consistent. Well, I really want to know what you guys think. But then what's the point of doing a profile if it's just like everybody else's? Well, it's, it's, we, can't, we can't win with you guys. It's not It's not like everyone else's. It, it is unique. No, we, we've had comments that are like, this is just somebody else's list. And it's like, bro, like you come here for us to like talk about the cards, not for the profiles. Uh, well, this is my own list. So I, I'm really confident with this list. Let me know what you think. Um, some of it might be a little controversial, but just I really like to hear what you have to say. Team Brock, signing out. Skinhead.